Hello you guys, welcome back to another video. We've got a bunch of stuff to get done today. This is gonna be like a get it all done video. I made my grocery list, I need to get to the grocery store. I have kind of a big grocery shop I need to do today, so we'll do a grocery haul in this video and obviously put everything away. I need to like organize the fridge and the pantry and get all that situated. I have some cleaning I need to do today. I have laundry I need to do today. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right on into it. And I've got some new products I wanna show you real quick. So you guys already know I use a ton of Blue Land cleaning products. This is my glass cleaner right here. And then I have my multi-surface cleaner. I've also, oh, here's another multi-surface cleaner. And I have a bathroom cleaner as well. And then I also use the hand soaps, the foaming hand soaps. Um, don't mind the dishes in the sink. Those are gonna get done today. But I also use the Blue Land foaming hand soaps. We have these in the bathrooms and then here in the kitchen. Obviously, I'm getting pretty low and my refills just came in for my hand soaps. I got a bunch of different scents. Got lemon, evergreen, we've got Pacific Mist, got Iris Agave, Lavender Eucalyptus. I love these, you just drop this in to that with water and it becomes an amazing hand soap. I love that the Blue Land products are people and planet friendly. I also just got a new laundry detergent starter set. So we've got the little canister for the laundry detergent tablets. And then these are the tablets. Lulian uses no single-use plastic in any components for bottles, tablets, wrappers, shipping, all of it. They're effective and affordable. And these laundry tablets even do a great job lifting like grass stains out of baseball pants and food stains and all of that when it comes to like kids and whatnot. Blue Land products are all also free of phosphates, chlorine, bleach, parabens, VOCs, ammonia, phthalates, all of the things. They're also hypoallergenic and sourced from vegan and non-GMO ingredients. Blue Land is sharing a special offer with you guys, my viewers. So all you have to do is click the link in the description box and that will save you 15% on your first kit. So definitely check out Blue Land. All right, so we got that laundry swapped around and I have all of these clean clothes here on the couch now that I need to get folded. So first thing we're gonna do is get all of these clean clothes folded. when I filmed this video, it was a few days before Easter, but now while I'm doing this voiceover, we just had Easter yesterday. So I'm curious to know if you guys celebrate Easter, what did you do for Easter Sunday? We had a pretty low key chill morning here at our house. My mother-in-law was in town visiting. And so I just made some biscuits and gravy for breakfast. The kids opened their Easter baskets. We did a little egg hunt here in the house. And then later in the afternoon, we went over to our friend's house and my sister, my brother-in-law came and a couple of our other friends. So all together, I think there was nine kids there and all of the dads went outside and hid eggs all around the whole entire, like front yard, backyard, everything. With a little section for the little kids that were like two years old. And then the rest were for all of the big kids to just run wild and get as many eggs as they possibly could. We had tons of food and it was a really good time. I got laundry started. I got a bunch of laundry that was on the couch from last night folded, and now we're gonna go grocery shopping. So let's head out, grocery haul when we get home. Okay, we got cat food, dog food. I got a big case of water. I like to just have a case of water like sitting out in the garage or on the go and wanna just grab a water. And to also stick like um, hydration packs in, stuff like that. I just like to have some bottled water on hand. Everything else is over here on this side. I'm gonna get it all out of the bags, put it all on the counter, and then I'll show you everything that we got.
So I found a few things for the kids Easter baskets when I was at Winco. I wasn't looking, but they had like a whole Easter section. So I got a few things for the Easter basket. So I got them each one of these little chocolate bunnies and then I got them a chocolate million dollar bill, <laughs> each one of them. I got them each a push pop, each one of them one of these Kinder Joy little candies and then we got some Reese's peanut butter eggs because those are my favorite. And then I need to find some a, like a book or a magazine for Brayden but this was super random too. I was just in the checkout and I saw both of these. Brody is obsessed with King Kong and Godzilla and so they have this life magazine of King Kong Godzilla so I'm gonna put this in his Easter basket and then a sissy girl is a Taylor Swift fan so I these were literally right next to each other I was like oh my god how perfect so now I need to find something for Brayden but I got her this magazine to go in her Easter basket so then I have a random potato because Berkeley is doing a project for school and she has to disguise a potato. Tell me you live in Idaho without telling me. <laughs> so we have one potato. We've got some Brussels sprouts. I got a giant chuck roast. Got two things of uh, frozen pancakes. I got two boxes of these Ritz cheese crackers. Got some beef broth, onion soup mix, tortillas. I got some Ice Pop Prime Hydration. They had the cases of them today. And then I also got some of the Metamoon. They didn't have cases of this, they just had singles. So I got six of those also. Got two packs of juice boxes and some Gatorade Zero. It is baseball season and it's starting to warm up. So between school lunches and um, baseball practice, tumbling practice, cheer practice, basketball camp, all the things we have going on, I'm constantly buying all of the drinks. So. There's those. And then I've got some frozen fruit, some frozen hash browns. We've got Italian style sausage, got Mexican cheese, mozzarella cheese, cheddar blend, provolone, We've got sour cream, some goldfish little snack packs, We've got two pounds of ground beef. And at Winco, they have the bulk bins, so you can buy so many. I always forget to check the bulk bins, but like pasta, candy, uh, spices, like flour, sugar, like salt, all that kind of stuff. Um, and they had pretzels in the bulk bin, so I got some of these. And then we've got regular Ritz crackers, some hoagie rolls, some bananas, I've got popcorn, we've got syrup, we have an onion, some pink lady apples, some cilantro, strawberries. Oh, I got a case of this Oikos triple zero Greek yogurt. Got some little cutie oranges, some grapes, and some Rayo's marinara. These are the big jars, the 32 ounce ones, and these were only 660, I wanna say. So, pretty good, but that is everything. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get all of these groceries put away where they need to go, get rid of stuff in the fridge that needs to be thrown out, and same with the pantry, just get things put back and organized and refreshed for the, the upcoming week.
I got all of the groceries put away and I got the fridge restocked with our back stock of drinks and everything like that. So the fridge and the pantry are ready to go for the week now. And now I'm going to get these dishes out of the dishwasher, get all of those put away and also work on getting all of the dirty dishes from the sink put into the dishwasher. Now that I got the dishwasher unloaded, I'm gonna get all these dirty dishes put into the dishwasher. Now that dishwasher is full and I've got that running so I have a couple of things left that need to be hand washed so I'm going to get those washed up and put out to dry. I'm also gonna take this scrub brush that I keep under the sink specifically for scrubbing out the sink. I'm gonna throw some dish soap in both sides of the sink and get that all scrubbed out and nice and clean. Dishes are done, sink is clean, so now I'm just gonna spray down the counter here on the island and get all of that wiped down. Now I have a bunch of fruit that needs to be washed, so I'm gonna start with these strawberries. I'm just putting those in a big bowl and I'm taking some fruit and veggie wash that I have from Trader Joe's and I'm just gonna put some of that in there and fill this up with water and let it sit for a little bit and do its thing. You can also use just like baking soda, vinegar. There's a lot of different ways to wash fruit, but I'm using this Trader Joe's fruit and veggie wash today. So while those strawberries are soaking, I'm gonna do a little more laundry. The dryer's done, so I'm grabbing the stuff out of the dryer and emptying out the lint trap, and then I'm gonna swap around the laundry.
I'm gonna get my cleaning rags and dish rags, that kind of stuff that are in this little basket here in the laundry room. I'm gonna get those started in the wash. I threw one of my Blue Land laundry tablets in there and I'm gonna get that going. So now I have some more laundry that needs to be folded. So I am going to get that folded also while those strawberries are soaking. So I've got two big loads of laundry folded now. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take everybody's things and put them where they belong. I'm just putting the kids' clothes on their beds so that way they can put those away later. And then I'm putting mine and Donnie's clothes on my dresser. And in a little bit, we will be in my bedroom cleaning that up. So we'll get the clothes put away then, but I'm just gonna straighten up the pillows here in the living room as well. Now headed back into the kitchen, I am just gonna get these pans dried off that I hand washed. I'm gonna get those put away in the cabinet down here. And then I'm gonna grab a strainer so that way I can dump out this bowl of strawberries. They are done soaking and I need to get ready to cut those up and put them into the storage jars that I use for those. So I'm just rinsing out the bowl and then I'm gonna add the apples into that bowl and then do the same fruit and veggie wash with the apples and let those soak while I'm cutting up the strawberries. So I got these storage jars at Winco, I don't know, I wanna say a couple years ago now, but they work great. They do help keep our strawberries longer. We do go through fruit really fast. However, when I wash them and cut them and like prep them, it does keep them nice and fresh. I always get questions about that, like if it actually helps, and it does. I also use like our glassware sometimes too, like with the snap-on lids, I'll just put like a napkin in the bottom. Um, but yeah, that's how I store our fruit. I like to just prep it so it's ready to go because if we buy it and leave it in the container that it came in and just leave it in the fridge, it doesn't get eaten. So I always just get the strawberries cut up. I swear every other day I'm washing and prepping fruit because we all eat a lot of it. So got those apples out there on the counter drying and now same thing with the grapes. I rinsed out that bowl, put the grapes in there, the fruit and veggie wash, and now I'm gonna let those soak. I got all of those strawberries cut up and ready to go, so I'm gonna stick those in the fridge and then I'm gonna dry off the apples and just put them in this little clear organizer thing. I think it's for cans, but I just like to stick the fruit in these um, and put them on the shelves. It's just easy for the kids to grab stuff and I feel like if everyone can see the fruit, like the oranges and the apples, then they're more likely to grab them versus if they're in one of the bottom drawers, then I feel like nobody opens those drawers to get the fruit out, at least in our house. So I like to have them at like eye level for the kids. So when they're looking for something to eat, they're grabbing some fruit and it seems to work well. So same thing with the grapes, those soaked for a little while and now I'm just rinsing them off. I'm gonna add a little paper towel in the bottom of one of my glassware containers and I'm just gonna store the grapes in here like this. It's gonna take a couple of them, but we go through grapes like crazy too and whenever they're washed and prepped like this, we'll just grab this container out of the fridge and set it on the counter and kind of all snack on some grapes. So getting the grapes prepped and then I'm gonna get those put in the fridge as well. Now we're headed into my bedroom and it is a mess. It always ends up looking like this at some point during the week because we do laundry and it just gets piled in here, shoes get thrown in here. It's just not a huge priority to keep my room 
picked up and clean all the time so content for you guys but it is time when it gets to this point I'm like okay I need to put all of this stuff away so I have a bunch of clean clothes out on my dresser so I'm gonna get all of those put away we're just gonna do the basic pick up put away wipe things down and get my room back in order So now I'm gonna get my bed made. I've got everything, for the most part, picked up and put away now. So we're gonna get the bed made. This duvet cover, this dark green color, is one of my favorites. I've had this for a couple of years now. We had it at our old house, but this color is just one of my favorite colors ever. And I love this duvet cover, it's from Amazon. I have a bunch of duvet covers from Amazon linked in my Amazon shop for you guys. All three of my kids have down comforters and duvet covers and they're from this same brand. We, I love it so much. Um, but this green is just mm, year round. It is one of my favorite colors to have on my bed. So I'm gonna get my bed made and then I'm gonna work on wiping down the dressers and the nightstands. While I was wiping down the nightstands, I noticed these baseboards were looking pretty dang dusty. So I just grabbed that cleaning rag and I'm gonna wipe down the baseboards real quick. And then I'm also going to vacuum my whole room. Now this is that cordless shark vacuum that Donnie and the kids got me for Christmas and I'm still absolutely loving it. For the most part, during the week, I run the robot vacuum every day or every other day. It's just such a lifesaver. We are in such a busy, busy season of life right now. Like we have so much going on, not just sports and activities with the kids, but just like so much extra stuff going on and I'm not, home a lot now during the day and so having that robot vacuum is truly a lifesaver with three kids two animals the dog hair you know our kids play outside a lot um, the animals outside and tracking in grass and dirt and all of that it's just so nice to have so I absolutely love this cordless shark vacuum I do have that linked to my Amazon shop as well because I take that upstairs and vacuum upstairs I don't run the robot vacuum upstairs so um, I do the whole upstairs with that vacuum and then also that robot vacuum. It's the Dreamy Tech D10 Plus. It's, it auto empties, um, it mops and vacuums, um, or you can have it just vacuum too. But I also have that linked to my Amazon shop. So big time vacuum fan over here because the floor has got to get clean, you know? And if somebody else, AKA Mr. Robot can do it for me, we love that. So if you're on the hunt for a cordless vacuum or a good robot vacuum that is not super expensive, I swear that robot vacuum is on sale a lot too. So check Amazon. Um, I have my Amazon shop linked in the description for you guys. So bedroom floor, check. All right, this is a little bit later now. As you can see, I've got an outfit change. I put on some more comfortable clothes. We are in the dining room. My dining room table gets so dusty. And so here we are, it is time to get it wiped down. So I sprayed it down. I'm just using one of my white wash rags. I get the pack of them from Walmart and that's what I use for cleaning rags. They're easy to throw in the wash. 
Um, you know, they're super cheap when they start getting holes in them. They're cheap to replace. I just love using a good regular old wash rag for cleaning. So wipe down the dining room table and then I don't know if you guys have seen that I moved this table into the dining room. Maybe you have, but this used to be in my office, but then I got like a bench for working out like a weightlifting bench um, and that's in the office now. So I moved this in here and my plants are absolutely loving it. So I got that wiped down. Um, I've got some of my Monsteras propagated and they're growing their little root systems right now and they are loving this window with the natural light. So love that for them and for me. I'm so happy to have house plants back in here and getting those all going. Here's another little propagation. This is a little pothos cutting and I've got that in water and we've got some new life going there. So I love that so much. But I'm also going to wipe down my bison print here and wipe down the bookshelf here in the dining room. Moving on to the living room, the TV stand entertainment center table thing um, is very dusty as well. So I'm just gonna spray that down and move things around little by little and get it all wiped down and clean. This table I got at the Goodwill for $25 and it just, I saw it and I was like, I need this. It screamed like early 2000s home to me and it just looked like homey i don't know i love this wood tone and we love a good thrift find i know it's not everybody's style but i love like collected furniture so much especially a 25 dollars tv stand you know that i can put all of this decor on my big giant ammo box that my father-in-law gave me the one that's on this entertainment center he gave me and then also those two wooden boxes over by cash's dog bed he also gave me those and I love them so much. I love using them as like decor in my house. So anyways, got that wiped down and now it is time to do the floors. I know I was telling you guys, I typically do the robot vacuum, but I still every once in a while do more of like a deep clean vacuum and mop. So that's what we're doing today. I am gonna vacuum the entire downstairs and we are starting in the dining room. Moving on into the kitchen slash living room now. Just gonna keep working my way and getting all of the downstairs floor vacuumed. Now I'm not sure why this clip is out of focus, but it is. But we are over here in the living room. I'm vacuuming Cash's little corner over here full of dog hair. I'm getting his bed vacuumed off and also the rug here in the living room. And moving into the kitchen, I'm getting the pantry vacuumed, the kitchen floor, and then we'll move into the hallway and the laundry room as well. Mm -hmm. 
Then moving into the entryway, I'm vacuuming here. I also popped into the office, but I didn't want to move the tripod again. So I just vacuumed in there super quick and then came back out. I'm getting under the buffet and just this whole entryway and hallway. I had just vacuumed upstairs, like the kids' bedrooms and the hallway and the kids' bathroom and all of that the day before this, so I am just gonna hit the stairs with the vacuum real quick. They get so dusty. Now, once I'm done with the stairs, I'm gonna start mopping. I think I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five different mops. I've got my Swiffer mop, I've got my Bona mop, I have my Steam mop, my Spin mop. Okay, I guess that's just four. I have four mops. Today I decided to do the Swiffer because um, it's pretty quick, makes the house smell really good and I was kind of in a hurry to get all of this done, so I just went with the Swiffer. I just have the tub of the Swiffer like wet pads on the kitchen counter, so I'll do like this hallway, throw that one in the trash, and then grab a new one. So that is what I'm doing. I got the pack at Costco a while back, and every time I do a, a good mop like this, I typically grab a different mop just depending on what I'm in the mood to use because I have so many but today we're doing the Swiffer so we're gonna make our rounds around the entire downstairs and get everything mopped That is gonna wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to watch. I hope you guys got some motivation to get some things done around your house, whatever that looks like to you. And also don't forget to check the link in the description box, check out Blue Land. They have great products. I really love them a lot. I use a lot of their cleaners and now I've got their laundry products as well like I showed you. And with my link, you guys can save 15% on your first kit from Blue Land. So I've got the QR code on the screen right here or you can click that link in the description box. So definitely be sure to check them out and thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys again in my next video. Bye.